Welcome to Shadow to Chaos. I'm going to show you some few nifty tricks for Eclipse IDE which will speed up the process of coding. So I'm going to start get started with some few which I find the best. So I'm just going to get started with it. So there might be a situation where you have declared a class and you might need a main method in it. And honestly typing the entire public static void main is quite tedious process. So in order to do it much more faster, just type in main and press control space and that press enter. So it will create the entire void main, sorry, the main method here yeah, uh, for us with the arguments and everything placed, even with the brackets. So that is a very convenient way of doing it. So just type in main, control space and then enter. Another uh, nice trick in Java Eclipse IDE is let's say we are declaring some fields let's say integer id and string name alright just for demonstration purposes and let's say we don't need these anymore we can delete them or we can comment them. basically if you need to comment any statement within the program you can type in control shift c and will comment all those uh... particular lines for you another nice uh... commenting trick is just type in slash asterisk and type your text here alright I just went wrong over here your text here basically keep pressing enter and will keep expanding it so it will go until you wish so it's basically used for creating documentations alright so you can keep typing press enter enter it doesn't matter it's gonna keep creating the, the asterisk so you can comment alright so that's another nice trick Another trick would be to import stuff. Let's say uh, importing packets is just uh, really irritating. So let's say I'm using the data input stream. All right, I'm just going to declare it here. So it's a quite a huge thing that you need to type in. All right. Let's have used data input steam. But now I have to declare the import package up here in order, you know, in order for it to work. So rather than doing that, I can just press Control Shift O, which will include all the necessary packets. That spelling mistake there. Uh, all the necessary packets which is required for this program to work. So this is called as uh, something organizer. Uh, I don't remember the name. There you go. Organize imports. All right. So it's gonna organize all the imports that is required in the program. And in, in some kind of situation, if I remove this, okay, and this is no longer used, and I press Control Shift O again, it will remove those packets for me since we are not using it anymore. So that is a very nice thing. So you can use it for absolutely anything, even if it's a list. All right. I've declared a list, but I need to import the type, which is in the utility package. I just press Control Shift O, and this is the menu which should appear. When there is multiple occurrences, there are multiple possibilities, it will give you options. In this case, a class that I want to import, so import Java dot awt list. So it will import that for me. So that is another really nice trick. Another way, another thing that is really nice. Let's say you have got a particular statement written over here. If some kind of statement, all right. If you want to remove this entire line of code, all right, rather than selecting it and pressing backspace, you can just go to that line and press Control D, which will erase that entire line. So any any content in that line will be erased automatically. So just type in Control D, and there you go, erased. Another trick would be let's say that I've uh, initialized id to 1 all right now as you can plainly see sorry chain that well so you can use it static nothing to do with that all right let's say we have id over here declared and we have a, a declared id over here and we, near, we have initialized it in within the main all right so there might be a situation where you need to rename that variable so simply renaming it from here will only cause errors so in order to rename it and replace all the occurrences within the program what you can do is press alt shift r alright and will give you the ability to edit 
the inst the name or the identifier of the variable. So in this case, I want to change it to ident, and we'll re replace all the occurrences within the program to that. So that's simply amazing. Another thing that is something that we use a lot is system.out.println, which is an amazing method, but it's really, really, really long. So rather than uh, typing that, you can type in sysO and press control space and will create system out dot print ln for you. So that is another amusing thing. So you can just type in the text that you want to type in and it will print that for you. With the semicolon and everything placed. Another thing is sys error. So system error dot print ln which is basically kind of an error message in the red font. Nothing else. So that is another really nice trick. And uh, one of my favorites here, uh, let's say that, as you can plainly see, I've got a class over here called as file stream. Alright? File stream is the name of the class. So, in a particular situation, let's say I'm going to create a object or a reference variable of that class. Okay? File stream and the name of the object is f. But when your program is really lengthy and you want to find what in the name is this, Okay, you don't remember this class, you defined it. So rather than go ahead and finding in your library, you can just select that particular name and press F3, particular class I mean, and press F3. And it will directly take you to that class. So you don't even need to do anything, just select that and will take you to the appropriate class within the library. And that is another very nice trick. In, the, in There might be a situation where you might have multiple classes declared and you're creating objects of this class in other classes and using them you don't understand that you can do that all right so you can use this method it's quite convenient to do another really nice and one of my favorites here is creating or auto generating constructor so you just right click source and generate constructor using fields all right so you just click on them and you can view all the fields available within the program so there's name and there's identifier but that is static so that would not be initialized let's say so I can use a name I'm not gonna choose F okay I can take a name which is a field a string and press OK and will create a parameterized constructor for me which will initialize according to the parameter that I pass so that is another amazing trick I don't even need to type it again and again since you know what's happening and again this is a super class you don't need that you can remove that it will still work perfectly fine this is your main constructor right over here alright so let me cover up with one final trick let's say that you have been writing your program and Eclipse does format the code for you but the thing is you might get a little messy sometimes so it might be a situation like that. So y all you can do is press Control Shift F, all right, and it will format the entire code for you, and it will place it in a very neatly and formatted manner. So as you can plainly see, the brackets are placed correctly in their position. Blank space has been removed a little bit, and it looks a little bit cleaner. So that is another nice little trick. So these are some of these. Java Eclipse IDE tricks. You can go ahead and press Control Shift L, and will give you the list of all the shortcuts available in Java Eclipse. Go ahead and check them out. They're very useful, and uh, if you can remember them, then that's amazing because it saves a lot of time. So anyway, this has been Channel Chaos. I hope you like this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much.